Hello, and welcome to a short review of the Triangle Me Flying Scotsman. Well, at long last, I'm finally doing a video on the Flying Scotsman. I've seen the real locomotive a number of times, and I've got two models of it, this BR Green one, the uh, Triangle Hornby, and the Hornby Legends one in LNER Green. Uh, that'll get a video someday, but this is the one I'm doing now. The locomotive does look very elegant. It's just in simple Brunswick green, but there's just something that, you know, it screams class and look at me. I'm an express engine. I think it is a fantastic model. My grandfather's got one of these in LNER green, though sadly it's missing the smoke box door. And... Yeah, because it was removable so you could uh, add the smoke fluid because some of them had smoke generators. Mine does not, but uh, it's got another nice feature, which I will show in a second. Mine's only got the plastic bogey wheels. Some of them had metal ones, but mine's got plastic ones. I don't think you could ever get the British Rail Green version with metal wheels. So, I, I think they look fine, but I can understand why some people would want to replace them. My princess has actually had its plastic wheels replaced with metal ones. My version's got the Banjo Steam Dome. Not all of the uh, models of Flying Scotsman do, but mine does. Since I bought the BR Flying Scotsman, mine is 60103 instead of 4472. Uh, because obviously Edward Thompson renumbered it during the War to 103, and because it's a northern, north, northeastern region locomotive, it had a 6 added to the front. In the tender you have your traditional load of triang chunky coal, but my favourite little detail is that shovel. I just think it's a nice touch. Just above the BR crest there are these two little plastic tabs, and what I'm fairly sure that's for is so that the person that's sort of adding the decals or transfers, whatever they are, uh, could put it on correctly. I've seen that on old Matchbox cars where they have little tabs where you, so that per, uh, a person would know where to put the decals. Uh, you don't get that anymore because obviously it's just machines doing it now. To make the rattling sound of the axles a bit quieter, there's there used to be like some foam in the tender. I've since replaced it with some sponge because the foam rotted. Ugh, I have a picture somewhere of what it looked like out the tender. Don't know where I don't know where it is. If I find it, I'll throw it up. And if I don't find it, then it won't be in the video. This flying Scotsman is not a corridor tender model. Instead, you can see some brackets for uh, lamp irons. Well, now time to show what makes these Flying Scotsmen so cool. Yep, an illuminated firebox. I mean, not even all sort of modern Backman Locos feature. I know some of them do, but like not all Backman Locos have it, and I don't think any modern Hornby Locos have it. No, no, they do. One of the new A3s has got it. Uh, but not all brand new models have it, which, considering they accomplished it back in the 60s, you know, what's their excuse? Now time for some running. 